Hello everybody, this is Faris here, and today we do some more Sets and Galaxy. If you enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe, because only a small chunk of you guys are. And if you did all subscribe, then we'd, I'd be very happy. So, um, yeah, in the last episode, we got this big boy over here, Jupiter, in all of its big glory. It's absolutely huge, um, as, you know, everyone knows. And, um, yeah, so we can now get this stuff, because I can afford it now. There we go, 16 times payout, nice. And a constellation fragment as well. There we go. Haze. Or he's. And it's Virgo, 73 light years away. Wonderful. Mercury, just up to 100. Uh, just up to 150. Well, I think we have to do that twice actually, don't we? Lovely. Yeah, because we have to get up to 7. Do we have the funds? We do have the funds, but not really for much more. There you go. Oh, another constellation fragment. Brilliant. Narn. That's. Yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. And the constellation, no. Mars, and then... Come on. Yes, we can afford it. Brilliant. So we should get something... Special... New discovery, yeah. Stardust tap. Oh, nice. And then we can get that. Oh, probably should have, should have waited. So where's that? Here we go. Epili... E ec ecliptic. The ecliptic is the plane around the sun that forms the shape of a flat disk. Almost all major bodies of the solar system orbit the sun on this plane. It's a leftover from the protoplasmic disk from when the sun, planets, and other celestial bodies formed. Lovely, and now it's 20% of the idle income per second. Nice. You can also get this stuff here, dark matter and the dwarf star here. Yeah, it, it just takes a little while for some reason. Now, oh, we can automate Jupiter, That that's big. There we go. Um, and then let's put this on Dark Matter 3. And I'll save that actually, just in case we get something from upgrading again. The Great Red Spot. The Great Red Spot is a constant high pressure storm on Jupiter's turbulent, gaseous atmosphere. It appears as a large red or orange circle on Jupiter's surface. The storm is so large that you could fit three planet Earths inside of it. That's pretty big. Um, the boost. And then. Uh, Oh yeah, it's got the button behind it. So yeah, we can put two more. Oh, look at that. I think we have enough to fully fire it up. Boom, there you go. Pissies. And you get the, uh, or pieces. And you get the little um, fragment. Well, you get to see it now. Isn't that nice? All Only two of these stars are actually named. we got a little achievement here. Ancient astronomers finished pissies. Ancient schoolers in China, Greece, and India mapped the constellations to better understand the organization of the cosmos. Um, star charts created in the past can show us, can show us, uh, yeah, created in the past can show us how the position of stars has changed over time. Isn't that nice? And now that we get, what's that? It's three times the tap. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Now I get 16 million a tap, which is pretty good. Let's upgrade the universe now. Create a gas giant. There he is. Objective 4 complete. Generate a gas giant. And we did that. There we go. Ooh, <laughs> camera spin. And then, uh, yeah, just warp through, warp boost into it. So it should yeah, go red. For semblance here, Jupiter's moons gather around the giant planet, each more unique and fascinating than the last. Let us study their variety. Lovely. There we go. Dark matter, and then... Oh, we got another bloody constellation fragment. Discover the Jovian moons. Oh, we get eight per click now. Isn't that... That's great. We got ten. <laughs> nice. Idle income a second. So that, yeah, buffs it quite quickly, actually. Ocean blue. What's well, so that? Speed up Earth. Nice. Mars. It's so actually upgrading them as well. It technically increases the idle income per second. Oh, there you go. So we can put Dark Matter 4 on now. And, yeah, that's it. There you go, dwarf. I put the Dwarf Star on. I meant to put Dark Matter 4 on. Oh, well. Let's get the moon. That'll give us even more. Oh, we're getting quite a bit per second now. Or per click, I should say. I think the moon's actually the best place to invent. Oh, look at that. Um, Put some into Mars. That'll give us a ton as well. The moon gives us loads. Uh, what about Venus? Doesn't strike me as, you know, one that'll give us quite a bit. But, you know, it'll give us some. There we go. Seven, well, almost 8,000, that's pretty good. So now I need to think of another one to put stuff in. This one, Aries, it's three. 
and increases the star speed by three. Aries the Ram is a dim, medium-sized constellation in the northern celestial hemisphere. It was identified in the time of ancient Babylon, along with the most other zodiac constellations. And I got Taurus, increased gaseous pay speed by three. That's interesting. Gemini increased astronomy mission speed, terrestrial planet speed, ice planet, cos comet speed, Libra, or Libra, Scorpio, Sagid, Sirius, Capricorn, of course, and Aquarius. Um, we haven't got to the Oort Cloud yet, actually. Um, I reckon... Hmm. It's, no, that's not like a star in the air. I think... <clears throat> I think the gaseous planet, this one here, Taurus. I think we got El Nath. It's a giant in Taurus, 131 light years away. And it's uh, five... Uh, well, five plus or minus... Uh, 0.1 solar masses, so pretty big, um, well as like literally everything is in this universe, there we go, I think we could have actually afforded Jupiter, but there we go, like we can get that much per click, That's that feels really good, um, get some more in here, what's this, increased series payout, brilliant, so yeah, well every, every upgrade would increase, it would increase the amount of back, well, like uh, money you make, so it would just make small per click. So, um, yeah, I guess I, uh, let's get, s uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, there we go. So, now we got this. Lovely. Uh, I don't think that actually did anything, but it, it might have done something. Can we, we can't afford that. But, look how much, uh, look at that, that's quite a lot per click. And we need series up. And, yep, yeah, nice. <clears throat> Obviously, we need some more of them still, but, uh, that's, it can be improved. I also boosted it because I wanted to. And everything's so expensive, like, you kind of have to. There you go, there's some more. How much do we get? 20, 28 million <laughs> per click. That's pretty good, so you can just, like, get an absolute butt ton. Um, gravitational powerhouse. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even read this one. Jupiter's mass prevents objects in the asteroid belt from coast, coasting into a single planet. The gas giant's Gravity disperts the orbits of objects into the belt, making them collide with each other. So it sort of it stops things from, you know, f like going into everything else because it just goes in mine and just eats it and makes them smash into each other. That makes sense. Jupiter's Jupiter's just be like that. Is that a space potato? That is. What? So they've got really small space potatoes now. Or is that just, like, a bug? Is it, is it supposed to be that small? And like, it also makes sense of Jupiter, why Jupiter's got so much mass that there's such a big gap between it and the asteroid belt. Because it just sort of sucks everything in. So, in, uh, that's a moon if we get these. Um, except they're really, really expensive. Um, so yeah, more AFK, haha. <laughs> Well, I guess it isn't really AFK, because I'm still at the computer, but, you know, whatever. Alright, so there we go. This is the final one. Ranking up a series, if it's going to load, probably. Maybe, there you go. I don't know why that took a while. And, uh, boom. And then we get, uh, Io. We just went through Jupiter. That's fine. Io. Io is a rocky, icy moon with intense geological activity. It has active volcanoes that belch plumes of sulfur, mountains taller than any found on Earth, and lava flows that, that turn the moon's surface yellow. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Space potato, nice. Um, put that on. Oh, that's super quick. Seven billion. Well, I want that automated. Um... And yeah, there we go. That's that one. And now we need to rank up Venus. Probably don't have the money for it now because it took a ve it literally took me two hours to get both of those because um, it just it was so expensive. It was literally just click and then just literally just wait, I guess, until you can buy it and then buy it. Buy one, keep clicking, keep buy another, and it was it took so long. But we got it now, so that's that's good. Um, there you go, get five of those. I'm not sure how much it increases each time, but there you go, 39 billion, that's a significant in <laughs> increase. Um, oh yeah, inc do that again, 48, 46, sorry, I, I can do numbers. Um, again, there we go, seven, we got seven of them now, which is giving us 54 billion. This seems better than Jupiter in a way, 
because it's like it's much faster it gives you less but it's it's got the speed to it you know um there you go we can get venus to be clicking away much faster space potato buy a couple of them we can rank up higher hopefully it gives us the cards to automate it ah oh, solid boom okay that's gonna make us so much money in the future um see so yeah, there we go it kind of looks like doge um anyway io's bright yellow color is due to the large icy plains primarily composed of sulfur that cover its surface some of this sulfur may have been produced in volcanic eruptions very nice and yeah just sink all the money back into venus which will be for next video so if you enjoyed it as i said at the beginning make sure you like and subscribe because it would be lovely and i mean with i say we're close ish depends what your definition of close is to a thousand subs and if we could get that then that would be cool and then i could be monetized and do even more epic stuff so um yeah do that press subscribe down here or wherever i don't care just do it thank you